Alright guys, so today the uh, Talon is getting all the attention. Um, to start it off, we got this here, flange cut off. Um, so now, the wastegate came in, um, got this flange here. Obviously this is going to be an issue, because this rocks back and forth on here. Not only that, but... Also, not going to be able to fill that gap. So we got this stainless here. The idea is, since the manifold sits in the car, obviously like that. We already had issues before. The previous wastegate was almost hitting the radiator. Um, so we want to get this at an angle. That's why I have this drawn out on here. We want to contour it to the manifold but also get it at quite the angle obviously so it actually has room to you know be there with the engine flexing so it's not you know whacking the radiator or whacking the um, course port or anything like that so let's get into it all right guys so here's the go fast bits uh, 44 millimeter gate in the flesh, um, pretty big gate, obviously, very nice, um, you know, wasn't the most expensive, obviously, definitely not the least expensive, though, um, about 300 bucks for this, I got it on a sale, um, they were selling it through them on Amazon, uh, it was like 20% off or something, or ten percent, I don't know, but it's a. I've seen it for like three seventy seven. I got it for like two eighty with tax and shipping. It ended up being like three hundred bucks. So pretty sweet wastegate though. But uh, so yeah, obviously gotta get this flange on the manifold over there. Um, so I'll get into kind of the fabrication of that. I'm gonna be welding it up tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, there's the new waste gate, everybody. Alright, so, with some gentle persuasion, obviously, you can see my tool selection here. I got this nice radius put in here. I'll clean it up with a file, but as you can see, little to no gap anywhere. Nothing a little filling can do it's a lot better than it was before i'll say that probably gonna weld it from the inside and the outside um yeah yeah, yeah. you can tell me i should make the hole the size of the flange i'll probably use a carbide bit to port it out bigger but um i can do that with this piece on here welded so um also it turns out I was being dumb and using a spare vibrant 44 mil dump tube flange. That is the actual flange. That's a dump tube flange. So this is a lot bigger. That guy, obviously. So yeah, but that's that. All right, so I just wanted to show these off before I become the tin man by using anti seize on these new titanium guys I had to do the old double nut trick where you lock them together um, so show you guys all of them removed and then I'll show you guys all of them installed here shortly um, there's the last one of the smaller ones the nuts locked and there's the larger two and let me get my light. There's all of them taken out. And all the new Felty Fab Titanium guys. So I'll show you guys the process of installing one. And then I'll get them all in. Alright, so we got the anti-seize here. I'm going to set you guys down for a second. So you're going to... Take your anti-seize, 
you're gonna bring it just like this and just get your threads nice and coated with this stuff so if these ever have to come out it isn't terrible this is just what they say to use so this is what I'm going with I'm gonna pack them pretty good not too crazy but so there's that and I'm just gonna come over here and thread it in it's got an allen head on the end of it I got allen sockets here and then yeah just tighten it all the way down and then boom you're good to go alright so I got the uh Titanium studs installed and the nuts are just threaded down there a little bit. Um, these were called Felty Fab. Um, seemed pretty solid. They were 90 bucks with shipping, uh, which I didn't think was too bad. Because obviously titanium's nice and light, super strong, um, really good with you know heat, obviously. And uh so I think that's a pretty good route to go when you're messing with exhaust manifold studs. Um, I was going to go with ARPs, stainless ones, but they were, I think, like $120. I don't know if that was for the amount that I needed for the 4G or if it was for, uh, you know, just some, like, universal kit with a bunch of them. But I like these better because you can get them in the burnt finish. And it's blue and gold. And just nice looking. So yeah, I'll link that in the Go Fast Bits Wastegate in the description below. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.